Hey guys, what's going on? It's Coach Kimmy here. I just want to share with you about this haircut. So she has one length hair. It's just very simple and plain. She hasn't gotten a haircut for a long time. And I want to give her some shape around her face. You know, layers makes you look... I want to say with a design or a style as opposed to one length hair. One length hair is flat, it weighs down the hair, where volume and layers will give you a design. You know, it's kind of like decorating your house. You know, you could have plain furniture and nothing on the walls, or you can put beautiful pictures on the walls. So we're going to start first with a triangle shape at the top. And I'm gonna pull that down. She wants it longer so she could pull it back. So I'm gonna pull it down to about her mouth. So we're gonna take that triangle shape and you wanna kinda of section it by where the eyebrow is. Where her arch is in her eyebrow is where you're gonna make the triangle. Take your comb, touch the eyebrow, and then go to the top so you can see how much you want. And I would say less is better. Start with less, you can always do more. And then you wanna take the second section that's behind that um, arch in her eyebrow and you want to be able to comb it down and blend it and angle it around her face all right so there you go and now i want to take that hair all of it together in one and i'm going to texturize it i want it to just have some texture and softness in it and then i'll take the next section and i will just cascade those angles going down framing her face. Look how beautiful. I want you to use your imagination. I want you to see the angles around her face in your imagination. Your imagination is your best friend. It's gonna always help you design something more beautiful like a blueprint. Right before Ikea makes furniture, they are going to have the outline and design of what they want first. And then they do it backwards. They, you know, engineer it backwards so that you can create and make beautiful furniture. Well, we're doing that with hair. Now we're going to take the mohawk to her part and where I did the bang. So you're going to grab the bang to the part and you're going to just angle it straight up because she still wants her hair long, but you're going to see how much we're cutting off here. And it's still going to give her just a beautiful, lovely look. I just think a lot of people say, oh, long hair can't be layered short. Yes, it can. It absolutely can. And she's going to look absolutely stunning and magnificent when this haircut is over. Now I take the whole left side straight up and keep it on the angle of the bang going towards the back. So it's going to be on a nice pitch, a nice elevation. And you just follow that. And then you do the same thing with the other side. It's that simple. Keep it simple, guys. Don't 
over try don't overthink it just make it simple and it comes out stunningly beautiful you can check this haircut anywhere and you're going to see that it all is going to match up And then you check it. See those ends? You check it, check it, check it. Gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful hair. Beautiful. I love it. It looks so I good. I don't think my hair has been this healthy in like 10 years. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Thank you guys! Yeah. Alright, so if there's something that you could ask me as a life coach, what would it be? If you had a life coach at your fingertips, what would you want to know? Just think about it. Think about what would be important for you to know. If you want to say, why does my emotions go so up and down or like a roller coaster? Or why do I do this? Or why do I do that? And why do I do that? And then I say, I'm not going to do it, but I do it anyway. Why can't I lose weight? Um, you know, just what are questions that you want to ask me as a life coach? So just ask me. All right. Have a great day. I can't wait to answer them.